This house can be yours for one dollar in beautiful Italy. They will also pay you to come to live there. But how is this real? Wherever you come from, the houses cost a fortune and nobody is going to pay you to live there. Why would one of the most powerful countries in the world give you a free house and pay you to come live there? Today, we will answer these questions and I will show you the hidden costs that they are hiding from you. There are many news articles talking about the opportunity. US News published their survey results in which they asked people in which country they would live. In the results, you can see that Italy took fifth place. So this would be a dream come true for millions of people. But this also reveals the current state of life in Italy. People see Italy as this dreamy place. But Italians would disagree. At the beginning, the $1 houses were only in the mountain regions of Italy. Of course, that's because a lot of people move out from that type of region and nobody wants to move in there. But today, the $1 homes are everywhere in Italy. This research shows the percentage of empty houses in the largest cities in Italy in 2018. Combining these numbers and numbers in the rural area, the number of empty homes is in the millions. And that number is rising year after year. They are beautiful houses and part of Italy's culture. So why they are giving it away for free? The government and the local towns came with a scheme to give the house away for one euro. Yeah, I know I kept saying one dollar, but it's the same thing. Anyways, the houses have been empty for a while. So you need to spend some money for renovations. If you don't want that your house crashes on you, or you don't want to get a disease. Now the renovation costs depend on the state of the house. The estimates are from $20,000 to $40,000. Considering how the prices of houses are in developed countries are, this is real low. You get a house for low money and the town has one less house to worry about. So both parties win. Why is that? Why you can buy a house for cheap in a powerful country like Italy? Italy has weird economic growth. In the 1990s, it had slow growth. Then, from the start of new millennia to 2008, fast growth. From 2008 to today, it's been going down. This is really weird. Italy has one of the world's largest economies and has some of the biggest companies in the world. Their fashion and automobile industry is at the top of the world. So why is this happening? In Italy's culture, family is everything. Italy's businesses reward loyalty and connections rather than performance. Italy didn't manage to get rid of nepotism in the last few decades. And the Italians had for ages a unstable government, messy legal system, massive tax invasions, and one of the world's largest public debts. So basically, with these free houses, they want to attract foreigners to boost their economy. But that's not all. Italy throughout decades had a high unemployment rate. This is a huge problem for young people. The average percent of unemployment for young people in Italy is 28.63%, which means that almost 30% of young Italians don't have a job. And those who found one have a low salary. Some reports say that people with a degree work for less than $1,000 per month. The estimations are that for a single person, the cost of livings per month are around $900, in which rent is not included. That led to massive amounts of young and educated people moving out from Italy. Few million Italians have moved out of the country since 2008. Italy is part of the European Union, and one of the rules is that citizens of EU states can move freely, find a job and stay in another country. I study business economy and recently we had a test in this subject and instead of studying, I watched Graham Stefan on the Hedas podcast. Of course, I failed. Anyways, back to the video. Italy has one of the oldest populations in the world and a low birth rate, so there are less and less Italians. Italy is running out of people and the places where the $1 houses are, like smaller towns and villages, are headed the hardest. The $1 houses are marketed as a holiday homes to America, UK and other countries with high income. For young Italians, it's really hard to buy a property because of low salaries and high cost of living. They have $1 houses, but keep in mind that there are even less job opportunities and that's where you come. This is one of the hidden costs that nobody is telling you. Some towns will pay you to live there. One of them is Molise. This town will pay you $27,000 to come live there. 
but you need to start a business there and live for three years. Now, depending on the business you start, for example, if you start a local shop, who will you sell to? The young people left the country or moved to cities for better job opportunities, so the population is really low. Let's talk about the houses itself. Most of the houses that are sold were built in the 1930s and 1940s, almost 100 years ago. And a lot of them are in terrible shape and look like they are haunted. In 1968, an earthquake hit Italy. So for many of these homes, it was easier to cash out insurance money and move to a city rather than repair it. You can't just move in, you need renovations. And you also need water, electricity and internet, of course. Sure, the renovations are not so expensive, but keep in mind that you don't know anybody from there. And in most cases, the local government assigns you an architect and a builder. In small towns, there is a lot of corruption, so most likely you will pay more than you should. Other than that, the small towns don't have a big number of architects and builders, so there is no competition and they set the price. Paperwork is also a huge problem if you're not a European Union resident. You have to spend money for taxes and another $400 for real estate company. Those two could bring the price to $2,000. That's not all. You also need to put a deposit from $2,000 to $6,000 depending on the town. But you can get that back if you start renovations within one year. You also need to agree to finish renovations within three years. Don't forget the cost of transportation. You need to see the house you bought and sometimes you need to oversee renovations. So depending on where you are, this could be really expensive. Final cost for $1 house could be more than $100,000, depending on many factors. And when the renovations will be finished, if you want to sell it, that will be really hard. But hey, look at it positively. At least you will have a holiday home. I have watched many videos on people's reviews of the homes they bought. Mostly they are really happy, the communities are great, there are a lot of digital nomads, etc. But happiness depends where you are and with who you are. Maybe you could end up in a bad town and you will have a horrible time. Also, this is not financial advice to buy a home in Italy for one dollar. Do your own research. Usually we do business studies and entrepreneurial success stories. This was a little bit different, like a country study. If you are interested in these topics, hit the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed the video.